movies, video games, craft beer, sandwich revolver. I am Carl Diamond. I am John Reeve. Yes! Thank you so much for tuning into a new, another episode of Sandwich Revolver. On today's episode, the new film by director Robert Rodriguez and producer <gasps> James Cameron. Oh my god! Alita Battle, Battle Angel! Angel! You made the biggest mistake of your life. And what's that? Underestimating who I am. Stay here. Don't kill anyone. We're here at Bevmo, looking for a beer for Alita Battle Angel. Let's take a look. What kind of themes does Alita have? Well, I would start with something that looks like a robot. A robot. Or anime. future. Or anime. Future. Or anime. Cyberpunk. Sci-fi. A girl. A girl. A cool girl who's A powered, cool girl. Who has like martial arts skills. It's a mechanical robot shark. That's kind of sort of there. It's sci-fi and it's a robot. Let's hope we do better. Here. Coffee porter, robot. It's a coffee machine. Yeah, but it's a machine. Any theme that we're looking for is the theme we never find. God, why didn't have why didn't Alita have any saber two squirrels in it? Or dragons? no saber two squirrels in Battle Angel Alita. This is misleading. This is misleading. It should be Turbo Dog but it should have like robot arms and uh, maybe uh, laser eyes. That would be great. Laser eyes for a dog. A duck. Oh, we got our beer. Yes, we did. Let's check out and uh, head back and start shooting. I Sound can't good? wait. Let's go. Oh. Ooh, what have we got today? Hmm. Well, this time we have Absolution Brewing Company's Angel's Demise. Angel's Demise. Ooh, ooh it's a pale ale too. Yes, India this, pale ale. it's my favorite kind of beer. The IPA! Woo! Woo! So let's get to it, huh? Let's see how it tastes. I could be mistaken, this might be my first beer from this brewing company. I think I am right there with you. I, th I think you and I are some absolute absolution virgins. And <laughs> this is gonna be our first one. Oh, wait. The smell. Oh, that's got the... Ooh. I'm liking the smell oh, so far. Yeah, that that's a good smell. All right, cheers. Ooh. Ooh, that is tasty. Well, this is a little bit darker than I expected. I like that a lot. The end makes me think a little bit more of a, a stout. It, it does have a... at the end. Kind of a stouty finish, yeah. Yeah. But that is a very drinkable, very malty mm. IPA. I, I quite like that. Oh. Angel's Demise reads, A great blend of new and old world styles with Maris Otter, oh. premium two-row, <laughs> and English crystal malt. Warrior Palisades and Citra hops, together with the high mineral content of our water, provide for a wonderful finish. We, we might be drinking it wrong, but look at, look at all this bubbleage going on. That's not, no, it's good. It's a nice beer when, when that happens. Oh, good. From what I understand. If I'm wrong, please tell me. Comment below, <laughs> Carl, you are wrong. That's not how beer works. I also like the the, the artwork on it. Uh, alcohol by volume, 7.2%. Mm -hmm. IBUs. 75. 75. I don't know what IBUs are. My dad knows. Absolution Brewing. Pure pleasure, no guilt. Pure <laughs> pleasure, no also, guilt. Also, it's based in California. Based in Torrance. Yes. not uh, Torrance, California. Not too far. Not too far from where we are here in sunny Los Angeles. Mm. Uh, yeah, they also have a mm. tasting room or tap room in La Jolla, California, which is closer to where I grew up in San Diego. They were established in 2013. 
Not that old. And they have about 22 taps. To movies, beer, and video games. Absolution! Absolution! Ooh. Angel's Demise! Directed by Robert Rodriguez. Yes. Which, I don't know how well you know my interest in him. I like him a lot. If I see his name, I would go see his film alone. Oh, so just based on the name alone. I would, go see Robert Rodriguez. Yeah. Another thing that attracted me to this mm -hmm. was the screenplay was written by James Cameron. So James Cameron and, forget, forgive me if I mispronounce this woman's name, Leda Calogritis, who directed a couple episodes, or wrote a couple episodes of Bionic Woman? Yes. Okay. Which, you know, by that alone, uh, sounds like a good fit. She also wrote the screenplay for Terminator Salvation. Oh, no. Sorry, not Salvation, Genesis. Let us jump into Battle Angel itself. John, what did you think of Alita Battle Angel? I loved it. You loved it? I really did. I thought going in, it, it would be really easy for this to flop. Even though it's got great people behind it, mm -hmm. and that likely contributed to why it didn't stink, in my opinion, versus the Ghost in the Shell live action movie. Maybe next time you can design me better. Anime being adapted into live action has had a, a bumpy road. Yeah. Starting way, way back with uh, Fist, of, Fist of the North Star. Welcome to the future. And only the North Star can bring back the peace. Fist of the North Star! Have you ever seen that one with Malcolm McDonald? McDowell. McDowell. Like Malcolm yeah. McDowell. I will beat you if you get my name wrong again. <laughs> I will grab your fist to the North Star. <laughs> Kenshiro! In general, I thought it was very unique. Oh, everything was very well-framed. I mean, there wasn't a lot of explosions. No, Because usually with Rodriguez, people jumping off a building and boom, explosion in the background. That's Rodriguez. So a lot of those shots match up with the, with the uh, manga that was written by Yukito Ki Kishiro. On, yeah. on that note, the cinematography was fantastic. Oh, yeah. Done by Bill Pope. Bill Pope, yeah, man. Oh, he has a great track record. He has a great... Uh, did the Matrix movies, Army of Darkness. Spider-Man Spider 2 3. Team America. So the action was fantastic. That's where the real core strength of the movie is the action and the CGI is yes. really believable. Because when I saw the trailer for this movie, I was really bummed because her... Rosa Salazar's eyes were so fucking big. Yeah. And I'm like, why did they do this? I get it's, a, it's an anime, but why? The trailer really made me think, oh God, this is going to be not good. But then five minutes into the movie, you're okay with it. Because she and, does yeah. such a good performance selling me this character. She was so easy to believe. I'm really skeptical and very critical of a CGI when it comes to films. This movie did a, a fantastic job selling me a CGI character. Yeah. I mean, she was pretty much the only full-on CGI character. There were a few um, cyborg people. But they had, they had human faces. They, they did. You're right. So the strengths of this movie so far, CGI, action, action. mostly acting is good. There's one guy who kind of dropped the ball. The, the boyfriend uh, played by Kate Kian yeah. Johnson. The rest of the actors acting. are great. Uh, we got Jennifer Connelly. Christoph Waltz. Is also very good. Michelle Rodriguez is her mentor. Yes! This feels like the most fully realized cyberpunk world in a movie that I've seen since either of the two Blade Runners. Yeah, I mean, Blade Runner is up here when it comes to cyberpunk buildings, so anything that comes close to it is really impressive. There is one thing I will say. Uh, this movie is not perfect. It kind of fell apart in the screenplay department. From what I understand, it's three of the manga's arcs put into one into one movie. So you have the self-discovery arc, she remembers who she is. You have the Martian Wars arc, the sports arc. 
with the rollerball deal. For me, the movie doesn't have a third act. It kind of just ends. And yeah. like, where she just points the, points the sword at the sky and says, I'm going to get you, Edward Norton. You don't, you don't even know who the guy is yet. Well, you don't know who the villain is until the very end. It's very rushed when you could have had three movies. You could have had Martian War and Self-Discovery at, at, as the first movie. And then when she realizes, in order to get to this upper world, I have to get good at this sport. And then the last shot of the first movie is her walking into the into the sports training. Second movie all about her training. And then more assassins come for her and it's action packed and everything. And the third movie finally she's up on the high city. Instead they have the first two movies uh, that I proposed shoved together. I honestly would have liked it if they had just gone for it and thrown in an extra half hour. You don't get enough of like the arc that it's leading to, uh -huh. which is the bigger picture. And we also don't get enough of her backstory with the Mars Wars that happened. I would have wished they had just gone the whole nine yards and just, here it is. Here's the whole thing. It's like three different sample sandwiches instead of having one full sandwich. Alita is three sample sandwiches. The good in this movie outweighs the bad. I really enjoyed it. I had a great time. Uh, I was never bored. All right, so let's move on to a new segment. So now we're gonna do something where we predict the sequel. Or yeah! we talk about we talk about really what we want to see in the sequel. I would like a ten minute segment dedicated to the fighting on the moon. I want to know what happened before that led to this. What happened three hundred years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, it'd be really cool. Another thing, I'm excited to see her go up. I also want to know a little more about what is down. Mm -hmm. Jackie Earl Haley's character talks about the underworld. He talks about how there, it's sort of like built upon itself, yeah. like all okay. these, well, uh, maybe societies or okay. cities, I don't know. I want to know what's up there, and I want to know what's down there. And that, those are my big main hopes. Yes. So I want her to go from being, was the ultimate champion, right? Or the final champion? Yeah. But then she gets betrayed and beat and left for dead somewhere. Mm. And she has to then learn more about who she was yep. in the past to overcome these challenges and then finally works her way up to uh, Nova in the upper city. And we see the upper city and there's a whole nest of challenges up there. There's higher level robots. They're just insanely rich people who have like infinite resources. And yeah, and then she fights her way to Nova. The final segment of Sandwich Revolver, comparison to video games. Oh boy. Let's compare oh boy. it to a video I wanna, game. I what did you first. walk out and wanted to play? Walking out of Alita. Battle Angel. Alita. We walked out. We didn't walk out. We saw the whole movie. What video game do you play after watching Alita? Metal Gear Revengeance. Ah, yes. That's, that, that's a good one for Alita. It's all about cyborgs and unique cyborgs and yeah i think that's like the the closest thing to the actual movie if they made a game of this platinum games should easily make this game because mm -hmm. they also did uh near automata and and vanquish which yes. is like all robots and they're like the robot japanese dev i think for me they do they nail that really well Metagir. Oh, it's like an Anarchy Reigns. Oh, it's another game. That's right. Well, that's another game they made. I don't know. I guess it... That's not really like robots, though. Some guys are Andy robots. Andy tried. And Andy. Thank you, Andy. It's another Platinum <laughs> Games game. It's a fighting game. I wish now we, I, I feel I, like a dick. I wish we had a camera on Andy. He makes the best faces. So what I felt like playing when I got back from Alita was uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I felt like that was the game... For Alita. I mean, a little darker, not not so cartoony and colorful, but cyberpunk is, nonetheless. You and I would both agree, Cyberpunk 2077 needs to come out now. Oh, yes. <laughs> cyberpunk 2077 by Project CD Red needs to come out in like 30 minutes. I am... What's this say? Virtual on. What's that? I don't know what that is. It's a cool arcade game. You're oh. a robot and you just like fight stuff. Oh, okay. cool. The description sounds appropriate. Yeah. Andy has recommended Virtual On, which we'll post footage of right here, and yep. right here, and right here, and it's probably good. That's Andy's choice. Cameraman's choice! Woo! Woo!
Except the cameraman hasn't even watched the movie, so... Cameraman's half-ass choice! <laughs> so, yeah, I would pick, uh, Deus Ex, any of the Deus Ex games, and, uh... Metal Gear Revengeance. Metal Gear Revengeance, yeah, those are the... Those are the best yeah. games that we can think of yeah. right now. What games would you play after watching Battle Angel Alita? Please, comment below. Hey, maybe we'll play them. Oh, maybe we'll play them! Yeah, it's even better. And we'll be like, man, the... These guys are right on the money, or these guys are stupid. What a bunch of trolls! So, final score! Out of six sandwiches, what would you give Alita Battle Angel? I give Battle Angel a 4.5 out of six sandwiches. I would also easily give it a 4.5 out of six. Four out of, four and a half sandwiches out of six sandwiches. It's about a B minus for me. I had a good time. And you know what? There needs to be a sequel. So go out. What are you waiting for? Go see this movie! Why? Why are you watching this? You haven't seen it, or if you have, watch it again! We appreciate you watching us! Yes. <laughs> so, as always, thank you so much for watching Sandwich Revolver. My name is Carl Diamond. And I'm John Reed! And this means so much to us that you spent time to watch this. Please like and subscribe for more content. Uh, let us know what you like below. Comment. Mm. Uh, share. <laughs> watch movies. Play video games, drink beer, drink beer, enjoy life. Have a good day. Absolution Brewery, you go check it out. See you next time. Bye. Bye.